related development because the first edition of the Cash Mining Company's sponsored football tournament in Cambo South and that on Saturday with, uh, of course, the Trinidadian football ground in a grand final played uh, between Bat Kunku and Kunjur with the latter crown as champions of the tournament. Uh, the football final, uh, finale rather, was witnessed by the Catch Global CEO, invited guest, committee elders and hundreds of football fans. Here's more details of that in this report. Gatch Mining Intervillage Football Tournament aims to enhance peace and unity among the participating teams and a way of giving back to the community for the company's mining operation in the area. Ahead of the championship, the Gatch company did not only fund the tournament but also provided football materials such as jerseys, balls and other items to all the participating teams. Speaking to the media after the game, the Chief Executive Officer of Gatch Global, Abubakari Jawar, expressed delight for his company's association with such a community development. According to him, the football tournament is organized to support the community youth for his company's mining activities in the area and also to encourage them. Very important to us and my company because uh, to show Gambian people and Gambian communities that yes we can do and then uh, the reason we organize this mining uh, for where we are mining in the those communities to mobilize this tournament with their youths and then uh, to help them because uh, the way we are mining in their community we need to show them that we are together with them and we need to support them we need to encourage them that's why we organize this tournament for coastal areas and uh, alhamdulillah we started uh, with Alhamdulillah, we finish this Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Yeah, this is uh, to motivate them and then uh, to ensure them that uh, no place like home. Uh, of course, uh, since 1926, this uh, mining was uh, taking place in Gambia. No company ever did this kind of things. Uh, we can show all right that in our Gambian, we can take our responsibility. We can utilize we, with ourselves and then we can benefit, benefit among ourselves, we can encourage our youth because our youth is, is the tomorrow leaders. So that's why it's very, very important to me and my company to do this kind of things and we will continue to do it. And then we are planning to also to do tournament for females, inshallah. Yeah. After a trailing 90 minutes of display, Gunjur defeated Banta Kunku on post-match penalty shootout to clinch the ultimate prize and shortly after the final whistle, the two coaches see had their reactions. Uh, my name is Morumani, the head coach of Gunju. Like we, we and Bato Kungu, we are all the same. We won two games, we draw one game. They also won two games, they draw one game. We score five goals, they score five goals. So we are all equal. They have two goals in net, we have one goal in net. So we met at the final. Like, the final is never easy. Myself, I have two key players, they are playing third division. They were not present today. But I use the second substitution to manage with the team so that I see how to contain Batukungu. We all know that Gunjur have more young players than Batukungu. They are more physical than us. In the area of physical fitness, they are more fitter than us. But we use our time to able to contain them until full 90 minutes. And we jet into kicks. And we know we have a goalkeeper that is good for saving penalties. So that's why we drag them into 5 5 kicks. And that was our tactic. And it worked for us. My name is Lavin Cham. Uh, commonly known as Jambo, that's what I'm commonly known as. Uh, for me, I would say it is a wonderful game for my boys. They did well. We played, although we could not have, we could not open the uh, uh, opposition very well to score. But we, you can see we have a couple of chances we we should have scored, especially at the last minute. We were the at least the dominant side to score, but we, we are unable to. It's, it was pure luck. That's, the football championship featured seven coastal villages, including Sanyang, Batakonku, and Ginjur, who are the eventual champion of the intervillage football competition. An amount of $300,000 was pledged for the tournament, with the overall champion going home with $150,000, and the runner-up received $100,000, while the third position finishing team was given a consolation prize of $50,000. There was also a prize of $20,000 for the best goalkeeper 
and the leading goals, respectively.